feel an acceleration difference, you can feel a planing difference, a turning difference, a top speed difference, right? The, the whole dynamics of this boat has changed. The new chassis way outperformed the current chassis. I think it's a huge step in pontoon engineering. This is the first time in a very long time that we've made such a big change as a whole to essentially every part of the pontoon chassis. Being able to accommodate those future horsepowers was part of the original project scope. Yeah, I've, I've never talked to a customer who was mad that they put too much horsepower yeah, on their boat. Yeah. You know? To have that ability to do the tubing, do the skiing. From a customer usage standpoint, right, we've seen the average amount of horsepower just go up year over year. When we took a, a new boat out with the new chassis with these engines on it, put a huge smile on my face. It was one of the most fun days I've had on the water for a while. Yeah, I liked what you said about innovation, right? We're not necessarily about being first or just getting it out there, it's about doing it right. And so there's been times where we've had to pull back and make sure it was done right, make sure that we put the best, the best out there. There's a lot of advancement coming uh, in model year 24. All of our boats moving forward will have a crumple zone on the side rub rails. It's just a huge step in improvement from everything that Harris has built up to this point. Now it's a lot of pushing what's capable and raw. Make a really smooth riding pontoon, designed specifically to handle rougher water. The center tubes change, the strakes have changed, the motor pods change. I mean, it, it's a very different chassis, I think all the way up to the wood on the floors. The chassis, right, is one of those major building blocks that will set the stage for us to build upon for countless years in the future.